Green. Um, do you think that Americans believe that the border is secure? What I can tell you is the record and the process that we have been using uh, to make sure that uh, we do our best to secure the border. Uh, we do our best uh, to make sure that we fix a broken system that was left behind by the last administration. And, uh, and that's what we're, uh, we're going to continue to do. We understand it's not like flipping a light switch. Uh, this does not happen overnight. This is an immigration system that is fundamentally broken. Uh, and it's going to take some time. But we also need Congress to take action. We need Congress to act uh, and to work with us on, uh, on fixing this immigration system. And what we're seeing from Republican governors is not the way to do it. It is, again, and I'll keep saying that it is inhumane, it is cruel, uh, what they're doing to children and to families. And uh, if they want to work with us on securing the border, on fixing the immigration system, we're happy to do that. Isn't there some risk, though, that voters might feel like they're being lied to? When you, we're seeing images of, you know, in El Paso, they've released a thousand migrants on the street because the processing centers are overwhelmed there. You know, how is that humane? How is that safe, as you guys talk about so often, when it's, it's overwhelming border cities, and, and they're asking the, the Biden administration to reimburse them for charter buses to get them out of the area because they're, they're totally overwhelmed. So again, it is a, broke, a, a broken system, the immigration system. And it was, um, it was decimated by the last administration. That is a fact. It was decimated by the last administration. Uh, what the last administration wanted was a border wall that was ineffective and used uh, a use of taxpayers' dollars, uh, and uh, and that's what we saw from the last administration. But just recently, CBP reported that that new wall along the southwest border was breached over 3,000 times. That new wall, and between fiscal year of 2019 and 2021. Uh, it's required 2.6 million in repairs. That's what we're trying to deal with, with a decimated uh, system that was certainly not helped by the last administration. Look, we understand. I'm not saying that there's not more work to do. We are saying there's more work to do. We are saying that the system is broken. But we are saying that as well, we have, uh, we have, done, um, uh, we have done a lot of work here to fix this system. And again, more individuals encountered at the border will be removed or expelled this year than in any previous year. That is, those are the facts. Do you have a message for the migrants, though, who are saying that the border is open? I mean, today we talked to a few who arrived in D.C. Um, they said that the border is open. We know it's open because we come, we enter, no problem. We haven't heard a message from the administration in a few months telling people not to come. Um, we've heard you guys talking about trying to make it a more orderly process, but you're not telling people not to come. So Department of Homeland Security uh, Secretary Mayorkas has been very clear. Uh, he was on TV recently talking about this, talking about the work uh, that they do. Um, and so I will leave it to the Department of Homeland Security to speak to that uh, specifically. Uh, but again, this is a broken system, uh, and we are we we want to see Congress act. We want to see bipartisanship uh, to fix the immigration system. We are fixing, uh, trying to fix a system that was decimated by the last administration. And uh, again, we are calling for Congress to take action. I have a question about inflation. The president dismissed the inflation report and the stock market sell-off on his way out of town yesterday, and then he said that test driving an electric car that costs more than double the average American's yearly salary made him feel optimistic. Is there, do you have a response to critics who say that this administration's out of touch? But can you say that one more time? The president dismissed? He, he dismissed the inflation report. Um, so he said he wasn't worried about it. Uh, we're talking about one-tenth of one percentage. Um, and then he said he wasn't concerned about the stock market sell-off because he said the stock market doesn't represent the broader economy. And then he went to Detroit and test drove a vehicle, an electric car that's just out of price range for the average American. So let me, so I, I get your question now. So the president's number one priority, economic priority, has been lowering cost. Um, 
uh, for the American people. You think about the Inflation Reduction Act, which was only passed by Democrats. Republicans refused to, to get on board and pass it in a bipartisan way. It lowered costs for uh, uh, for, for Medicare recipients, capped, capped that at 2000 a year when our seniors are, are paying $2,000 or more a month. Uh, and then you have Republicans as well who want to put uh, Social Security and they want to put Medicare on the chopping blocks. So that is the work that we are doing as Democrats. We're trying to do everything that we can to lower costs. We're trying to do everything that we can uh, to make sure that, you know, families keep their Social Security, unlike Republicans, and families have Medicare, unlike what Republicans want to do, which is take that away. Look, the question that the President was asked about the day before yesterday, uh, uh, which shows more progress, that data, the CPI data, which is what he was uh, he was speaking to, shows more progress in bringing global inflation down in the U.S. economy. Overall, uh, prices have been essentially flat in our country these last two months. That is welcome news for American families, but no doubt, no doubt we have more work to do, and we understand that. And so we are seeing some encouraging sign, including in, in inventories up, uh, used vehicle prices down, and a cooling housing market, which is important. Uh, it will take more time and resolve to bring inflation down, which is why, again, we passed the Inflation Reduction Act, we meaning Democrats, not Republicans, to lower costs uh, of health care, to lower costs of prescription drugs, to lower cost of energy. And, uh, you know, the President's economic uh, plan is creating good jobs and bringing manufacturing back uh, to America. We've seen more than 600,000 manufacturing jobs return to the U.S. in the in the last 19 months of this administration. I'm going to move on. Uh